is good. I gotta see how well I'm sounding. Okay. Okay, well welcome back guys. Uh, it's been a while. But, we are going to play some more Hogwarts Legacy. I finally get to stream a bit. It's been, like, a couple weeks, I think. I think it's been two weeks. But hi! Welcome in. I hope it saved where I was last time, because I don't remember if I saved or not. But hi! Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. I need to take a drink. Also, sorry if my voice sounds a bit rough. I have just woken up. <laughs> I thought, hey, you know, good way to start off the day. Be productive, do some streaming. <coughs> So I apologize if I clear my throat a lot and everything. The weather has decided to be like, hey, you know what's great? Pollen. I'm like, no, not pollen. Oh. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Please do, Mr. Sallow. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able mm. to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at, and if you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Marlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. I missed it. Oh, I see. The hippogriffs. I was like, wait, where do I look? Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them, too. Prance hoop and sugar fit. To the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Ah. 
isn't that? Wish this is an interesting story. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Kitty. Kitty. Hogwarts is a second home to me. Feeling a bit nostalgic about leaving one day. Have you ever seen a professor outside the Don't judge me. I have to pet the cat. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying! I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you! A Demi guys? I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, and he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well oh, at the I moment, thought that was but she'll be better soon glitch. and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Kitty. Pet the kitty. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell craft, Professor <coughs> Weasley. <coughs> Matilda, mm. student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? 
I believe mm -hmm. so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Nothing like finding just if you're interested. Feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. A pleasure doing business with you. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Rebellion. See if we can find some other clothes. Another kitty. Hello, Shucks. How are you today? Where's it at? I saw the book. Hello, welcome in. Can't get in there. I'm good. I just woke up, so my voice is a bit. Eh. But I'm sorry that you're feeling tired. I forgot where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. 
It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this Perry is Pippin. J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Sorry, I slept okay. It's yeah, sleep hasn't been the greatest. A recently. wise decision. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Should I no, I don't need to buy Wigan Wild. I'll make some. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the magic knee. I shouldn't have to mark because I remember it. It's over there. Little dim in the creek. Little dip. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here I for know. the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts as a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But uh, what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Rebellion. I think the other reason he doesn't go inside is he can't get inside his house. <laughs> Seems like he's a bit too good at gardening. Oh, what's up here? You're gonna show me this and not even let me get up here? What? That's not fair. This game is really pretty. Can I just say that? It's always good to have a sharp eye on your surroundings. Mm, might as well just to get it over with. Ah, oh, hello. And how would one like to be styled today? Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. 
They're stuck in the dust at the Ministry, and I'm here, thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. I should be going now. Thank you. She... she called me ugly. It's fine. Can't get me. Is that a book? I told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Brood and Peck said a customer lost a Deeracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might burn the wall. Instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Ha! Huh, finally! I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. Just grabbing all the books. What do we got? Can I go in here? No. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Nope, not yet, Sebastian. Don't worry. We'll talk soon, Sebastian. <laughs> Where's all of them? Oh, I'm literally that close to it. How did I overlook it? Oh. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't even think. Don't. Don't say it. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. <coughs> um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. That one's pretty. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? 
perhaps you... Ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Ooh. I like this one. How intriguing. Curious what indeed. My... What is my wand? Hold up. I have to consult my potter more. I want to say it's large, but I want to double check. with me guys <clears throat> no what is my wand Twelve and three fourths. How intriguing. And slightly yielding. Curious indeed. Where is slightly yielding? How intriguing. There we go. Dragon Heartstring Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? I have a stick. I'm gonna beat everyone with it. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> <clears throat> Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match? Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Mm-hmm. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian.
Sorry, I like watching the environment. <laughs> Time to go meet Sebastian! Look at him. Charming little bugger. We love him. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. because I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll yes, by yourselves? we did. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's <coughs> beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair it. Oh, uh, no, no. Um, a moment, if you will. I'll go and see what he wants. Officer Singer to worry about. You know, 
Reparo is such a nice spell to have. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Mm -hmm. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? And we'll look at... Uh-oh. Oh no. It froze. Oh. I gotta go to the... I'm so smart. Okay. I do want... I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. So I want a different outfit, and that one does have... Watch, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna You won't be disappointed. One. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to... I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. <laughs> I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Mm -hmm. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. It goes more along with the Hufflepuff theme. Jeez. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. 
I'm looking quite snazzy. <clears throat> Let's go. Let me know if you need help finding it. Okay. Last thing. I got a hat. How does the hat look? I like it. We look great. The way, Sebastian. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd see him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, uh, uh. Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Come, Theophilus. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Who names their child Theophilus? Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? 
I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Rebellion. Well, you see, funny story. You know that dragon, right? The dragon that, like, made me late to the sorting ceremony. Well, that led to a lot of other things. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Hmm? Mm. Fast travel! No, my foot, it's tangled in the blanket. We're fine. to hear him speak. <laughs> I've always said that travel broadens, broadens the, the mind. mind. Yes, yes. Oh, which way? This way. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Off on another adventure, are we? <coughs> I got another hat. I got another hat. I got a another hat. Rebellion. Ooh. 
See, I don't think I could actually be a student at Hogwarts because I would get confused and lost and I would never be able to make it to class on time. Because I'd be like, ooh, pretty, I'm gonna go over here. And then I'd just get lost. Never to be seen again. Or by the time I made it to class, it would be over and they'd be like, where were you? And it's like, oh, you know, I was lost in the gardens. Revenia. So I was going the right way. Professor. <clears throat> Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure. But I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise. And a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Knowledge Perhaps we are power. only after a book. But we should be prepared for anything. Mm -hmm. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you.
urge you defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know, there is such a thing as trying too hard. Hello, Ominous. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never backs down from a fight. Okay, okay, focus, focus, we gotta focus. Can't get distracted. We got this, focus. Hello, Professor Fig. Guess you could say we're going to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. Please laugh. I'm funny. <laughs> Even a pity laugh is still a laugh in my book. If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. <laughs> Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Oh, rather an overreaction on their part. Mm -hmm. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I will help you with your gobstones. Oh, it switched my thing up. <coughs> Hold up. We'll do the... Well, we could do it. It shouldn't take that long. Sure. Or we could wait. No, I saw you. Oh, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. Things we do for friends. Places around the school for some of these cobblestones. Got it. Hmm. Oh, I got you. I'm not doing much. 
Well, welcome back. I'm just going to grab a student's gobstones. That sounds wrong. go the wrong way. Of course I went the wrong way. That's fine. Ah, I see. This way. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school mm. for Zenobia's mm. cobstone. <laughs> You're so sweet. I'm not that great of a person to spend time with, but thank you. Let's do this really quick. So we've got 15. I'm really not, but we have 15 plus 2. So that's 17. Uh, so what plus that equals 3? So 4. So the owl thingy? <clears throat> then we've got nine, three for twelve plus Squidly Boy. Because zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, how about you make me? <laughs> so zero, one, two. So that's right, because fifteen, seventeen, Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. I was wrong. It's six. Which one is six? It's the lizard. Dang it. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Illustrious emerald silk road. <laughs> you would if you could. <laughs> I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I already got the gobstones that were here. Can I ha jump down the stairwell? Oh! Jesus. Oh, that was bright. Can you have done this? No. <laughs> I bet. Places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Now it's time to run halfway across the building to talk to Zenobia. I went the wrong way. It's fine. So one hundred and twenty percent definitely would. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I annoy you too much. Ah, uh, fucking bright. You've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all my future victories to you. Speaking of which. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun <laughs> together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. You got this. Now, in the meantime... Where'd he go? There is such a thing as trying too hard. Hi, Omni. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> Is that a challenge? Ominous. No, I can't get distracted. He is sweet baby boy and we love him. He's gonna be gone by the time I get done doing this. Uh, to, uh, to where are quests? Goodbye, Ominous. Our paths must go different ways. <sighs> I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain <laughs> urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell. Handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems Crossed Worms isn't as secret as it's believed to be. Time to kick some people's butts. Off on another adventure, are we? Including Leander. Hi, Miss Sisters. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. Adorable. I am not. I'm just going to kick some people's butts at crossed wands. <coughs> you know, I just realized something. Rebellion. Probably just fast traveled instead of having to run. after you go so far. <sighs> oh my jeez, I wish my throat wasn't so like, glare.
Okay. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. there he is. Oh, hi, Sebastian. Can I help Hello. you? Sebastian told me to see you about a <clears> club. <throat> if Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels across ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. Of course I did. I impress everyone. Do I want to be? No, no, I'm not. No. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's no. greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, <coughs> the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Mm. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! <clears throat> I'm not adorable, I'm ferocious. We'll make you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. Just There's strong competition box. ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. No. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Crossed Ones training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Why do you know? That's nothing for you. In the no. Nicely done. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. No. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. I am ferocious. Grr. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. 
Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. I gotta go with then my boy to Sebi. Gotta go with Sebi. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. That's how you do Perhaps it. They all sign up for a round. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Uh, of course. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. I've done Assignment's it. Assignment's all finished. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Oh no, don't say that. You did good. You could have gone a bit easier on me. Of course not. I have to kick your butt. Seems I'm out of the tournament, thanks to you. Don't get a snarky attitude, I'll do it again. No one likes a sore loser. No! Not adorable! I'm ferocious. I am not blasphemy and lies. I'm ferocious and fearsome, and I attack. Hey, frog! Frog! Take me somewhere! Uh, I lied. I don't like it here. Mr. Frog, where did you take me? Oh my god! Mr. Frog, <laughs> why? I will, I will attack. Down we go. A little breaking my leg. What, please? Fine. We are making. Hello. You're 
not ominous. Wait, yes you are. Hi. No! No. I'm not cute. I'm ferocious. I'll... I bite people. Grr. No! I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Listen, be, you. Professor? Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. Yeah, remember, Shax, I need to maintain focus. Focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep the <coughs> wand steady. Me, 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 me. Good work. Which one do I want to get rid of? We'll get rid of Reparo for now. Feel free to practice in the classroom before you go. I've set up a few targets for you. Hee 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 hee. getting it. Keep at it. And just try not to incinerate yourself. I'm going to incinerate myself. Incendio! Blaze is certainly cathartic, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. This was lovely. I'm gonna go burn some things. <laughs> I've been given fire. No, don't leave. No, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. No, I have someone to talk to. Don't leave. Please don't leave. I'll be sad. I'll cry. Don't leave. Professor Fig, as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the Ministry has charged me with arranging the rather inconvenient arrival of a new student at Hogwarts, a fifth year if you can believe. Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them acclimate before term begins. I have assigned the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Professor Phineas Nigelius, Ni Ni the, the Nigelius Black, Headmaster. Professor Fig, why are you never in your classroom? Ah, there you are. No! Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That 
man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. What? A dick? Professor Black is such a dick. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Oh, Sebastian, darling. We're gonna go on an adventure. Can I jump down? <laughs> no, I can't. It's not like it'll kill me. There's no fall damage in this game. Rebellion. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the three broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when <laughs> were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this porky. A porky? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fake has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Peeves is... How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. You like my glasses, Shax? No. Oh my god, Oliver, you can't do that when I lean back. You scared me. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Look at that. See, this is what I want. I want someone to, when they see me, just be so welcoming. Just that. Look at look at the posture. Look at that. Mm, I love it. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment <laughs> charm. Good for getting places oh, yeah? you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Oh, spells are free.
Stealth you may not see. Yes, I understand. Stealth is my middle name. That's what I was doing. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Aww, that's so sweet. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Well, I'm glad you watched the funny TikToks I do. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Aww. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. <laughs> Ghost, don't let her see you. I hate this. It makes my anxiety Should go be up. Clear now. No need for So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin Jessica and so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? 
Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Hmm. The chest. That one? Yeah. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. I can actually do it. Gotta sneak up on them and then open them. He did. Do some moving around. I need Akio. I mean, Levioso, not Akio. Shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't I'm you? I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves! I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Ooh. Good luck in your search. <laughs> now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this arm. Mr. Sam. I see your chest. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. <laughs> I'm in a portal. Oh my god. Oliver, you got it. You're going to have to move. To listen, you behave. 
behave yourself. Yeah, extracurricular. I can't even say extracurricular correctly. I would if I could. Ow, my leg. Like this. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. again. How do I get over there? Oh my god. Well, that... That did not work. <laughs> but in the chest. Is there no other way to get it? Why does my remote hate me? This must be the way forward. But to where?
Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Revelia. Oh. I want the other Okay. Really quick, let's check gear. better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. Yes, I made it. I made the character. On the chest? What do you mean? I can't pull the chest. That was the thing. Some of the chests you can't pull or anything, so I guess I just don't get it. Fun. Time to look.
did, I did make the character look like myself. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. <laughs> and yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. That's the face of someone who's gonna cause trouble. Sebastian! Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian, what will your uncle say? <laughs> Poor 
Sebastian. Let me out. Let me out. Itchy. <coughs> I do know I need to start making some potions. Hmm? No. You do not need to do that. Mm, good sir. I don't want you to uh, l listen. I can't. I cannot you confirm cannot nor serious. deny. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather yeah, unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir. I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Dear, some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. Mm -hmm. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw no. two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied. I never while said you're gone. no. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. But just Oh, and don't neglect your friends. No, the listen. You may be surprised by how much you can I'm learn from them anything. as well. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Nothing is going to be said. metal and see if we've a new school champion meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones also the training dummy is still available meet me in lower hogsfield as soon as possible 
I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay. I understand. Okay. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional... Incendio. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. I can't reach it. Okay. So, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Herbology class... Okay, we're gonna do... Okay, so we just need to cast an incendio on five enemies. We avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling ten times. We can do that. So we're gonna go to herbology class. Listen, you don't stop this troublemaker to apology. Ugh! What am I missing? Pungus onion again. Where's my boy? Puppy in that side. Who's this? Dear Professor Gaelic, how very thoughtful of you, and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitterroot to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn this skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards, always, Eleanor Everly. I love Professor Garlic. She's so cute. Hello, Leander. Hello, Ominous. Look at him. He's blind. But we love him. He is sweet little baby. He's my baby boy. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. 
This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Mm -hmm. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. <laughs> She's so pretty. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. <laughs> Yes, Professor? Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. Oh. You've visited the magic neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. I Let's would see if how I could. to balance my star thistle arrangement. Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion. Well, as done. you should know from Professor Shaw, can be class. harvested, your Disney will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Hello, Ominous. Keep at it! A garden... Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. Hi, Leander. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It 
was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Hufflepuffs too. At least you did. Yeah, better have respect for Hufflepuffs, buddy. This Hufflepuff Here we are. show you some respect. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Look at that! Now oh, chomping anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. See, Leander can be such, like... A dick sometimes but then there are times where he's nice and it's like you know maybe it's not so bad you know hello Leander oh oh Tiffany Kind of. Never judge a book by its cover. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. What did I miss? What happened to Everett? I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. I can... I'm not going. I'm not going to. I am... No. This is... <laughs> <laughs> God, why am I like this? Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. I well, I suppose that's garden, everything. <laughs> Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, I'd love to check in with you, Professor Garlic. Anytime. You name it. Really relishing their new pots only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall. I don't have a garden. I need this dittity to hurry. You know what? It's fine. I'll get it later. I have dittity. 
Okay, so where am I going to next? Uh. Now we get to go to Professor Sharp's class. I like Professor Sharp as well. Do you think a little bit about it? Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the Ministry guarding this school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Is that my boy? It's my boy! Look at him! You love Ominous. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I do good, Professor. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an orc. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Ominous, I'm sure your potion is wonderful. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganwell potion. Oh! <laughs> You're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. 
I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld Potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. You will. <laughs> Hello, Poppy. Sebastian. Nat guy. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, I need to go with you. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fupa feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Foop feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Hey, you're a troublemaker, but it's fine. Remember. What is this? Memorandum. Date 31st of December 1875 from Orr Office. Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more Orrs to, jo to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instruction to follow. Ooh. Look at chest. Your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Here's the fupa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I have a bad feeling. Potions, potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Dragon What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. 
Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learnt a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often yes. essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a what safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. Mm. That'll be you all. You behave. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. <laughs> Hello, ominous. I need pork lump juice. Pavilion. I hear a ding, but I don't see it. Nice to see you, my young friend. Okay. Trouble, trouble, trouble. This cannot possibly be as difficult as... to the school grounds we go oh I've been streaming for a while okay I will say just because we're about to start more of the main story once we get out these doors If it alone. I'm going 
to end the stream here once it loads. I hope everyone has had a fun time listening to my rambles. Horrible jokes. <laughs> But I hope to stream again soon. I hope that we can continue this magical adventure together. Oh, what? Oh, well, aren't you sweet? But thank you guys so much. And I hope everyone has a good day or night. And... Have fun.